Previously on Terrific Non-TV Toys, we looked at a vintage Malibu Barbie doll from the 1970s that looked like this, except with an orgy red swimsuit. That was this girl right here, my very first Barbie doll from childhood. Then we looked at my Malibu Ken, <laughs> also from the 1970s. This time we're going to branch out into yet another Malibu doll from that set from the 1970s from when I was a kid, and that is Malibu PJ. Isn't she lovely, as the song goes? And I have to digress for just a moment. I want to know who else out there had this wicker chair set. <laughs> there were two chairs like this, a love seat, and then a little table in this set. And I still have the other pieces downstairs myself. But I see them in a lot of places, not just in the book that I just showed you, which, by the way, is the collectible Barbie doll, second edition by Janine Fennick. But I also see these wicker chairs at toy shows a lot. This set was pretty popular back in the day. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. This is my one and only PJ doll. I have quite a variety of Barbies, many of which you have seen in other episodes of the two collectibles BRB TV series. Um, and I even have multiple Kens. I've got like a Batman Ken, I've got another Ken. Um, I haven't featured in an episode yet, but that should be coming up soon. And this, however, is my one and only PJ doll. And I've always loved her very much. PJ is Barbie's friend. And she was first introduced in 1969. Before that, Barbie had a friend named Midge, who was um, basically vase phased out. Um, and you really don't see much of PJ anymore either. There's been a variety of Barbie characters over the years and different friends for Barbie. Um, but you don't really see PJ, right? Um, this Malibu PJ doll seems to have inter been introduced in um, 1972, according to a website called dollreference.com. And I remember vividly when I received her, okay? It was for Christmas um, one year, thereabouts. I remember distinctly playing with this doll on Christmas Eve back then. Um, we opened some of our presents on Christmas Eve, by the way, because we would go to church. There was like a 7 o'clock church service on Christmas Eve, and Santa came and delivered our presents while we were at church. <laughs> so we would come home and open some of our presents that night and then some presents the next day. Anyways, um, I'm about to show you um, a visual accompaniment because that is, is like probably the most bizarre visual accompaniment um, that I've used in one of these episodes. But um, let me show you this. Okay, it's this thing right here. This is an antique table. Uh, it was in my house when I was growing up in the 1970s. I don't know where my mom ever got it from, but you know, it's just in one of those things that you have around the house. And I distinctly remember that Christmas when I received this beautiful doll. I was playing with her on that Christmas Eve with this table as if it was like a sort of dollhouse like oh she's sitting on the sick the second floor right now okay let's go up to the penthouse suite yeah that's so cool i can see everything from here but anyway it was like my makeshift dollhouse um back then so just one of those really weird memories that sticks with you and now of course i own this table and take it with me wherever i live so back to PJ, she, I've always felt like she was prettier than my Barbie doll, like facial features were prettier. I don't know. That's just a very subjective idea. Um, you may have your own idea about that. But PJ was known to have two ponytails, and you see where it's like, yeah, that is her hairstyle. And by the way, PJ's original lavender swimsuit has had a lot of wear. Um, I played with this doll a lot, and I was a real little girl. Um, so you can see where I've sewn it. <laughs> the darts on both sides. <laughs> I guess it ripped or whatever, and so I had to sew it. And then in the back, this, see there was like this kind of clasp, you can see right there, and the part came off over here. I guess it would have been a button or something. And so this is actually the ancient safety pin that I used back then to connect it. So I just left it on there. I suppose I could 
better restored. And even in the back, she had a tear on the back of her swimsuit. So her swimsuit is not looking very good. And she's got a few, like, I don't know, spots here and there. I really did not clean her up to get her ready for this episode. I just went ahead and shot. Um, besides that, she has most of her movement. That knee joint is a little loose. But she's... Um, got most of her articulation and movement. She's got her twist and turn thing going on, which Barbies were known for back then. And then this is really bizarre. Here's one surviving piece of um, this PJ doll. Look at that. I was looking at some pictures online, which I'm going to show you at the end of this episode, but this is one of her hair ties. Okay, so of course these are not the original rubber bands here, but she had like these hair ties around. I have no idea how this survived. I must have just taken them off or they fell off and I lost one and I thought I'm just going to put the other one away so I don't lose this one too. Very, very bizarre. <laughs> but this is my beautiful PJ doll. Malibu PJ, Soul PJ, and um, uh, she's a treasure. She's really a treasure for me. All right, so we have looked at three of my four Malibu dolls. I'm also going to show you an image that I've been showing in the other episodes, too, of the four, all four Malibu dolls that I had when I was a little kid. So the fourth one I'm going to show you in a future episode is the Skipper doll. Skipper, the kid sis of Barbie. So I'll show you those images now. They are not my images. They're from various points of the Internet. And thank you for watching once again. We'll see you next time here on Terrific Non-TV Toys.